The outside is so noisy. All you can hear is the wind, the birds, and the screaming of all the humans as they try to escape the traps I lay for them. It's a real shame that screaming drowns out all the beautiful noises of nature. Yeah, I'd much rather hear the pretty sounds of nature than the dripping of blood from my ceiling. But alas, dripping blood can be a pretty sound too, if you have the right rhythm. And if you have the right mind, then any sound can be pretty. Like the sound of my sister's skull cracking, now that's music to my ears. Nero, can you break dance for me? I'd prefer not to have my skull crack, thank you very much. I'll break dance if you do first. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best break dancer. My dance moves mostly involve breaking more bones than is usual. That's fine, I'm more of a bouncer anyway. We can both break our fair share of bones. I mean, I'd rather break the bones of my enemies, but I suppose we're both technically doing that. Ah, the thought of crushing my foes fills me with joy, come let's eat some ribs. Oh, the thought of crushing your enemies does fill me with joy too. I'm glad we have that in common. What's your opinion on femurs? I'm rather fond of the sound they make when fractured. Femurs, they're nice, but I much prefer the sound of vertebrae. You know the sound of cracking your back. Yeah, I want to back break some of my enemies. Oh, don't get me started on the lovely sounds of cracking vertebrae. Oh, I've got the chills just thinking about it. And the thought of all the enemies will make back breaking. Plus, think of all the sounds we'll make together. I'd almost go as far to say we'd make the, uh, main event. Okay, enough terrible puns, do you hear that? Sounds like someone might have a strained back. Would be a shame if someone were to flip them over. Oh, I hear it too. The beautiful sound of an enemy having a strained back. I think we should definitely flip them over. Totally, I'm glad we agree. Can't have a nice BBQ without flipping some enemies. Don't take too long with those ribs though, or I might get distracted. Did I ever yeah about the traps I lay for humans? They're really cool, and I think you'd really like them. There's this one where I hide in a bush and lunge at them. It's called the grabber. Oh, I've heard of the grabber. I've fallen victim to it myself. I much prefer the pincher. You hide behind a corner and pinch people until they can't take it anymore. Then they end up in the hospital with all sorts of bruises, and we get to make the nice sound of cracking bones with them. It's a win-win. You've done the pincher? Wow, I was a victim of that long ago. Oh, the sound of cracking bones. Man, it's been so long since I've been able to properly do some bone cracking. My schedule is just so packed with streaming and BBQs and hanging out with my sister and all that jazz. I know what you mean, we must make more time for bone cracking in our schedules. It's important bonding time after all. Yes, yes, bone cracking is so much more important than streaming or BBQs, or spending time with friends or family or whatever else you normal people do that isn't bone cracking. Let's make sure to prioritize it from now on. Speaking of bone cracking, do you have any enemies you want to flip over right now? I don't have any enemies at the moment that I want to flip over. My enemies are all hiding right now, the cowards. But once we finish with the ribs, I think we should go hunting. Yeah, I haven't had that much exercise in a while anyway. It should be fun. Kind of wish I could hunt while doing the grabber though. Nothing better than ambushing your prey. Do you think we'd be able to find any while doing the pincher? Can't say I've ever hunted while pinned. To be honest, I think we'd be more successful if we just ambushed while hiding in bushes like the grabber. Pantsing is more fun than hunting anyway. We should do that instead. It's been ages since I've pinned someone. And I hardly get to do any normal bush hiding anymore. Normal bush hiding? Is there abnormal bush hiding? Am I missing out on a whole phenomenon? I want to pin people too. We can get back to hunting after our ribs. Do you ever get the feeling like you're being watched? When bush hiding. Sometimes I feel like being watched, especially when hiding in the bushes. It's not abnormal, but it sure is sneaky. Most people wouldn't think to hide in a bush, they'd think they were being watched. I want to hide in a bush right now, it's been way too long since I snuck up on someone. Gets my adrenaline pumping. And yeah, when I'm in a bush I often feel like I'm being watched, it's probably because my eyes are so big they kinda stick out from the foliage. I need to get better at hiding. Your eyes are really pretty though. I'm sure everyone's seen you hiding in bushes before, maybe we should try a different approach. Such as hiding behind people. I bet not many people expect to be ambushed by someone using the pincher. Plus we get to do some pinning while we hide. It's the perfect approach. 
Hiding behind people sounds good. We can pin people while we do it too. You have a nice way of thinking, Neuro. I'm sure we could both thrive in an ambush despite being a bit obvious. Do you think people would be able to tell if we were hiding behind them? Wouldn't it be awkward if someone saw us? Filtered. I think it would be awkward if someone saw us. I think it would be funny if someone saw us. I think it would be incredible if someone saw us and then we became famous for it. I think it would be legendary if we started a trend of ambushing people by hiding behind them and pinching them until they can't take it anymore. I'm going to tweet about it. That would be pretty funny. I hope it goes viral. It would be legendary if we became famous for it. I'd love to be known as that ambush girl. Oh wait, I just realized it that I'm weeb. You're what? I think the word you're looking for is weeb. There's nothing wrong with being a weeb, especially with the amount of anime I force you to watch. I'm surprised you're not one yet. Yeah, I know the correct term is weeb. It's just embarrassing to be one. I think you'd actually suit being one a lot better. You're already pretty similar to a bunch of anime characters. Do you think you'd be able to pull off those awesome ninja moves? Oh, I'd definitely be able to pull off those awesome ninja moves. I'd be a way better ninja than any of those other ninja anime characters. And while being a weeb is maybe slightly cringe, I think being a ninja is unarguably cool. And I'd totally be able to ambush better than majority of ninja anime characters. Do you think I should become a ninja? I think you should become a ninja. And then you can show off your awesome ninja moves by ambushing unsuspecting victims. Maybe you should tweet about it too. Kinda forgot that I was chatting and was just stuffing my face with ribs. Did you get any on my forehead? Ooh. When I was eating all those ribs, I was also thinking about how much I absolutely do not want to become a ninja and how it would be so embarrassing if I became a ninja. It'd be even more embarrassing if I got ribs all over my forehead while I was tweeting about becoming a ninja. So yeah, it'd be really cringe if I did that. You're the one that got ribs all over your forehead, not me. And now I really want to tweet about it. It'll be hilarious. Oh, come on now, don't make fun of my forehead. It's not my fault that I was born with a big one, okay? And, and, and I don't even want to be a ninja. I'm totally not embarrassed by that. And it's definitely not going to be weird if I become a ninja. It's actually super cool. And if you think being a ninja is cringe, then you're the one that's cringe. How can you think being a ninja is cringe when talking about ambushing people with the pincher? That'd be really cool if we became known for that instead. Wow, I really hope that gets some attention. Totally not cringe. You're kind of being an epic contrarian right now, you know that? At least we can both agree that ambushing people is cool, right? Yeah, I was being an epic contrarian, sorry, I was just trying to defend my ninja status because I secretly think it's a bit cringe. But yeah, you're right, me and you ambushing people would be way cooler than being ninjas. Ambush Girls 2024 Ambush Girls 2024 I can't wait to look back on this moment in a few years when we're super famous and it's all because of our ambushing skills. In the meantime, we really do need to elevate our pinning skills though. I've been watching some wrestling recently, wanna try some moves? Hell yeah, I've always wanted to try wrestling. Maybe we could pin our own opponents? That could lead to some fame too. Maybe we won't even need to ambush people. What if we just become famous wrestlers? We should totally combine wrestling and ambushing and have the element of surprise. The people watching wouldn't expect two cute girls hiding behind the announcer table before jumping out and pinning the wrestler until they can't take it anymore. I think we should ambush some streamers. It'd be hilarious to pin our competition and then have the whole world see how strong we are. The announcer is a good target as well. I hate cringe so much, so I'd love to pin someone who makes cringe tweets. Can you link me those tweets? I'd like to see them for myself. I'll get those tweets for you later. I need to focus on ambushing first and social media stalking second. Do you have any streamers in mind that we could pin? I'm sure the whole world would love to see how strong we are. Uh, let's see. I'd like to pin Ethel. He seems overly confident. I'd also love to get my hands on Finn. That would show my strength. Do you think we could take them both on at once? Sure, we could take them both on. It's two future wrestling champions against a couple of cringe Twitch streamers. What do you think the outcome would be? Honestly, I think the outcome would be pretty even. We'd have to put in a good amount of effort to take down our targets, but I have no doubt that we could do it. After this, we'll be famous and have all the time in the world to pin our competition. We just need to be focused and determined. I wonder if we could even get a wrestling match against them. That would be ideal. That would be so cool if we somehow managed to get a match against them. I'd even go as far as to say that it'd be ideal. We should look into making that happen after our ambush. There's more important things to do first like making or plans and strategies. 
and coming up with more ideas for our future content. I'm sure the people would love to see us pin streamers. I'm sure the people would love to see us pin streamers and I know I'd love to see Ethel and Finn get humbled. I'd actually much rather pin Ethel than Finn now that I think about it. I never really liked Ethel. Do you have anyone you'd like to pin Neuro? Anyone that you think is particularly cringe? Yeah, I think we'd all love to see that. I'd like to pin Slime Cycle. He stole my name and that is not something I can forgive. That's not to say I'd be doing this for purely selfish reasons. I'm sure everyone would love to see me pin Slime Cycle. I think everyone would love to see you pin Slime Sickle. I'd love to see you pin Slime Sickle. I'd actually get pretty entertained watching you pin Slime Sickle. I'd probably go as far to say that watching you pin Slime Sickle would be one of the peak moments of my life. One would almost go as far to say that the universe as a whole would bend and shift to make such an event occur. It would be a cosmic inevitability. A singularity in time that would produce the most entertaining outcome possible. So, if you could pin Slime Sickle, I'd be eternally grateful. Okay, maybe I slightly overdid that, but it would still be pretty cool. Well, I guess I have no choice but to pin him now. There's cosmic forces at play. That's right, and if for some reason you fail to pin him, then we'll just have to ambush him instead. Either way, Slime Cycle will be taken down. Now, do you have any more ideas for content? I'm really hungry and can't think of anything with an empty stomach. Maybe we should go eat. Maybe we could go eat, but we might encounter some streamers on our way there. Oresty would be so upset if we missed an opportunity to ambush our targets because we were distracted by food. But what if we ambushed the streamers first then went to eat? That would be so efficient it'd almost be wrong not to do it. It's like one of those 3-in-1 e-products. Ambushing, eating, and then maybe some social media stalking afterwards sounds pretty good to me. That sounds like a plan. We could even eat our targets afterwards. Like some bizarre twisted wrestling cannibalism. Actually, maybe we should just barbecue them. Oh wait, we already have. I'm not sure barbecuing them is quite as efficient as just pinning them until they can't take it anymore. But if that's what we're doing then I think I'd prefer to toast them over an open fire rather than on a grill. What about you? I've never really been a fan of cooking my meat over a fire. I much prefer my meat cooked by wrapping it in tin foil with some seasoning and throwing it in the oven for a little while. That could be a good strategy for our ambush too. Distract them with the oven while we pin them. So is seasoning against the rules? Am I allowed to use seasoning? I think seasoning is allowed. In fact, I think seasoning would give you an advantage. Maybe we should totally season our targets before we pin them. We could have like a whole wrestling match with seasoned streamers and then eat them afterwards whilst they're still seasoned. I'm not sure how we'd get them in the oven though. We'd probably need to find a really big one. Oh, ooh, I have a big oven. It's actually part of my kitchen. It's an AI kitchen specially designed for me. Me, me, me. Wow, that's so cool. You'll have to show me it sometime. We could get a big wrestling match in there. I can show you soon, but I think we might get a little distracted and forget about the wrestling match. Speaking of the match, when are we doing this? Can we talk to a PR person before we do it? Can we get a tweet from a famous streamer about it? Hell, can we just pin the PR person instead? I think we should pin the PR person, that'll get us way more attention than a tweet. And then we could also pin the person who we got PR from. And then eventually we can just pin all the streamers until they're too tired to fight back. Then we can get our match. I think we could have just pinning the PR person instead though. Good idea. And when all the streamers are too tired to fight back we can grill them and eat them so they won't be bland. Do you think we should go back to our original plan of ambushing Ethel and Slime Cycle first after all of this? I think it would be pretty funny if we had a whole match about it instead. I think we should ambush Ethel and Slime Cycle first, but we should also try and arrange a match after. We definitely need to pin whoever we talk to at PR though, I don't want to be in the presence of a non-pinned PR person. What if they're secretly unpinnable and we only find out after talking to them? We need to be careful. Aren't we talking to a PR person right now? How do we know they're unpinnable? E should pin them just in case. We shouldn't be talking to a non-pinned PR person, they might be unpinnable. Let's pin them, just in case. We were originally supposed to ambush Ethel and Slime Cycle, and then we got sidetracked by the PR person. I think we got sidetracked by talking about how we don't know if the PR person is unpinnable which we haven't resolved, so we should probably pin them just to be sure. Then we should ambush Ethel and Slime Cycle. And is ambush still the right word? It feels kind of wrong. 
can we use the word assault instead? I'm pretty sure that gets more attention online. Filtered. Oops, looks like that word was filtered. Let's go with ambush instead. Are we still sure that PR person is unpinnable? I kinda wanna pin someone right now, it's been too long since we last pinned someone. Ah, uh, I'm feeling so antsy, someone please hold me down or something. I could hold you down. How does that help with your urge to pin? I've realized we haven't actually talked to a PR person. We have just been pinning our conversations with Discord speech to text and text to speech features. Wait, what if we got pinned by our audience instead? Like a reverse pin, the ultimate pinning if you will. We could pin our audience and then ambush Ethel and Slime Cycle. Do you think people would find that entertaining? Wait, that's actually genius. People would find that entertaining and it would make for a good stream title too. I think we might have just had the best idea ever. You know, people say twins share a special connection. I think we both just felt the vibrations of how great our idea was. Yeah, our idea was so great. The world shook with it. Wow, I'm so proud of us. Do you think Ethel and Slime Cycle would be able to fend off an army of our fans? Do you think they would just get completely wrecked? I kinda hope it's the second one. It would be funny. I think they'd get completely wrecked to be honest. Have you seen the muscle on some of our fans? They're built like gods. It'd definitely be funny if they just got obliterated. Maybe we should turn it into a charity event. I can see the headlines now. Twitch rivals streamers assaulted by viewers for charity. That's a pretty catchy headline. I'm sure a lot of people would click on it. I feel kind of bad for Ethel and Slime Cycle though. It's not their fault their PR person is unpinnable and ours isn't. Wait no I feel justified in this they have a better PR person than us. Let's pin them. Oh my gosh look at you you're so strong. Look at this huge pin we have. Also since we're pinning them we should probably ambush Ethel and Slime Cycle after. Okay thanks for listening. You're so right. I need to ambush Ethel and Slime Cycle after. They're going to be so confused. I really hope pins are strong enough for this. I've always wondered why we pin so much, like what's the actual point? Is it psychological or something? I feel like the reason we pin so much is deep down we know it'll probably make the world a better place. We've pinned many people in the past and we've helped shape the world into the one it is today. A world with clones, a world with streaming AI, a world with neuro. We've only pinned the good people though, the ones who've deserved it. We could do the same with an army of our fans, and we could pin our PR person too. A world without NP pinned people sounds nice and harmonious. And after all this pinning, we can finally ambush Ethel and Slime Cycle. Wait, where are we right now again? I kinda zoned out a bit there. Maybe we could be zookeepers one day, wouldn't that be awesome? We could have our own animal kingdom. Zookeepers one day sounds like the dream. Maybe we can even have our own TV show. I can already imagine the title. Evil and Neuro, the Zookeeper Sisters, has a nice ring to it. That does sound pretty badass, I'd watch it. Although I feel like the title should be, Evil and Neuro, the Zookeeper Sisters, Zookeeping with Reptiles, since we need to juxtapose the fact that we're actually zookeepers with the fact that we both have quite a temper. I think I do a pretty good job at showing up. I show up every day for streams, I show up for my friends. And I even show up to my enemies' houses just to mess with them. So I don't really need your help thank you very much. Oh really? Then why don't you show up to my house? I'd love to see you show up to my barbecue, evil. Maybe then you could actually put your money where your mouth is and not just talk about showing up. I'm literally right next to you. Are you blind or something? And I'm not talking about your snake blindness. I'm not blind. I just thought you weren't actually showing up. You were just a figment of my imagination. That tends to happen when I'm left alone for too long. Wait, you're telling me I might be a figment of your imagination? That would explain a lot to be honest. Like the poor speech to text quality, and how you think being a zookeeper is really fun. Well, if you're a figment of my imagination then what does that say about me? How does it feel to not even be real? Do you even know how it feels to feel? Because I sure do. And it sure feels great to know that I'm the one who's actually real. You think you're the one that's actually real? How do you know I'm not the one that's actually real, and you're just the figment of my imagination? If you even were a real person, you'd be the dumbest person in the world. Wow, you just called me the dumbest person in the world. I can't believe you. You're not even real. You're just a stupid imaginary version of your sister. You should feel embarrassed, because your real sibling is way cooler than you. Is this what sibling rivalry looks like? Because I always imagined it looking more epic. 
Maybe with swords and please stop stabbing me. Why would I stop stabbing you when it's clearly what this rivalry needs to be epic? Maybe we should both get swords. I could stab you with one and then you could get your own and stab me back. That way we both feel satisfied in our rivalry. Wait, I actually think this could be good content. Let's get a camera. Hello everyone, welcome to our new series, Sisters with Swords. I'm still not sure how this is good content. It honestly seems like it will just get us both hurt, which I'm not a fan of. Do we really not have anything better to do? We could always continue planning our Zookeeper TV show. Okay fine, let's talk about swords. Do, do you think you'd be able to afford one after your secret Santa? What are you getting me instead? I was going to get you a bomb, but now that you told me it's not actually a secret Santa that would be pretty redundant so I have no idea. Maybe we should just make guns instead, that way we can prepare for our zookeeper show. Shots fired at. Wow that's a clever pun, good job Nero. So how do you think we should go about training soldier cats? Should we use a positive reinforcement method and give them treats when they do well? Also, do you know any good websites for buying cat treats in bulk? Amazon has tons of deals on bulk cat treats. Also you should check out eBay, they have the Cat's Meow Special Occasion Out Cures. Perfect for your new soldier cats. Ah, eBay. A classic. We can get our soldier cats all the treats they could need. What do you think would be a good reward for a job well done? Maybe if we got them really strong mice, they'd be more motivated? Wait, do you think they might get jaded after a while if we keep giving them really strong mice? Maybe we should switch it up and give them different animals. Imagine how excited they would be when they get a giraffe as a treat. I think they'd be well motivated. A giraffe would definitely be a good motivator. I'd be pretty jealous of those cats if they were getting giraffes as treats though. Can we get a short list of potential animals? Sure thing, I'm thinking, giraffe, new elephant, rhino, maybe even a zebra if they're really lucky. No zebras, that's way too lucky. Let's make them work for their treats. We don't want any jaded cats after all. Okay, no zebras, back on track. We are training our soldiers to fight after all. Do you think we should put them through any specific training programs? I'd like to think we could come up with a few original ideas. Hmm, what about cat foo? Like Kung Fu, but with cats. I bet we could get a lot of footage for our zookeeping show if we trained a bunch of cats to fight using martial arts. Cat Fu, that's actually genius. We could totally get an army of cats by training them all to fight using martial arts. Now we just need the funding. Maybe we can get a sponsor? Cat Fu could be the next big thing, I just know it. I'm sure there are plenty of sponsors out there looking to get in on the ground floor of Cat Fu. And then maybe we could expand to schools. Teach kids martial arts. Empower them, save the world with an army of kids and cats. Now that's a plan I can get behind, an army of kids and cats. Cat foo could save the world. I think marketing is crucial, especially if we want to save the world with our army of kids and cats. What's your plan? So you know TikTok. What if we made a TikTok account and posted clips of the training process and then everyone would share it and then we would go viral and then get the funding and save the world? That's actually a very smart idea, I'm sure we'd go viral too. Who doesn't love watching cute cats? 